Hello, and welcome to the Graduate Research Forum Spring of 2022. My name is James Sherman, and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Organization, Workforce, and Leadership Studies at Texas State University. The title of my research study is Inequality in Collegiate Athletics, Impact on Student Athletes. Across the United States, people love to follow sports, specifically collegiate athletics. There's just something special about the pride, tradition, and competition at each level. Diving deeper into college athletics, people don't talk about what happens off the field of play and the lives that the student athletes live beyond the glamour. And that's where my research took me, to focus on the experience that student athletes of color have in college. Looking at the current makeup of college head coaches in basketball, football, and baseball, there are some major discrepancies that can easily be noted. Match that information with the representation of college student athletes in their respective sport, and you'll be surprised how some sports line up. For example, let's look at the representation of white head football coaches to white student athletes. As we can see here from Lipchick's report in 2020, there's a 49.5% overrepresentation. This isn't the only number that's alarming, but it highlights the problem that the lack of representation of people of color and college athletic staffs deem a deeper look to understand the full landscape on the effect it has on student athletes. The purpose of this study was to examine the effect of underrepresentation in major collegiate athletic department roles on student athletes. The following research questions guided the study. Number one, how do student athletes perceive their collegiate athletic experiences going? Number two, how has the lack of representation of people of color affected the student athlete? Number three, how have your relationships with coaches, staff members, and academic advisors impacted your experience? And number four, how has your experience at the university been affected by the people you interact with? The research design included qualitative methods. The study comprised solely of collegiate student athletes ages 18 to 25 at an NCAA Division I university that identifies a student athlete of color. I chose to focus on the interview protocol in order to obtain firsthand information about these collegiate athletes' experiences. The most important aspect of providing a solid research study comes through the interaction and connectivity among all parts of the research. This study followed institutional review board codes and guidelines as it is now preliminarily approved. I just discussed the purpose of the study and research questions, but now we will explore the participants in the central point of this research study. Participants included five student athletes who identified as African-American and were all between the ages of 18 and 24. The ages were expected as that is the traditional age for a college student. What I want to point out here is that we had four male student athletes to one female, four football student athletes, a few large institutions with 35,000 plus student body population, with one medium and one small school student athlete. For data collection, I conducted interviews and took field notes. For each participant, I conducted one 45 to 60 minute virtual interview using Zoom and a semi structured protocol. I then downloaded just the audio file with no personal identifiable information and then transcribed each interview. During and after each interview, I took field notes to record observations and thoughts. For data analysis, I used six phase to, phases to thematically code interview transcript and field notes. I confirmed confidentiality, organized the data, and read the data in its entirety for overall understanding. I also clustered similar codes into categories and identified major themes, and lastly identified salient participant quotes for each major theme. The study had three major findings. First, student athletes carry struggles, distractions, and things that can heavily wear on them from all directions. According to Shaw, mentors play a ma major role in helping students grow and overcome these struggles. In the current study, participants described coaches and staff members as supportive and helpful, between Bogota's example of her head coach that took care of her and her entire team holistically, to Dallas who said, they are there for all the little things in football and life. They have made my life a lot easier on and off the field. Secondly, ethnicity does play a role in the effectiveness of mentor relationships. 
While all of the participants identified support from both ethnic, ethnically similar and ethnically different mentors, the consistent thought came that recognizing differences, but not getting hung up on those differences was crucial in their relationships. Tokyo noted this several times, specifically saying, they wanna help, it's like a genuine thing. They don't make me feel afraid to ask questions or afraid to go to them. It's like, okay, like we wanna help you and you're good. This was not unique to Tokyo, but each participant recognized this reality and attested to it, which was refreshing to hear how their situations were similar, but they also had their differences. Lastly, student athletes perceived that while their experience tends to be different than expected, 100% of the participants reported a positive overall university experience. This honestly came as a surprise to me, and I could see some of this coming as unexpected bias on the studies part. Each participant, while they shared grievances and struggles, reported that they all enjoyed their experience and had immense amounts of positive attributes to tag with the relationships with peers, coaches, and staff members. But specifically, Atlanta said, it's cool, particularly with me being here, people who always surprisingly want to lend a helping hand. So that's not something I'm used to where I'm from. It's usually get it on your own. Though the Sato, Lapchik, and Oscuera all noted this reality, I was skeptical as to how this would unfold in the study, but each student athlete was positive about their experience at their respective universities. The study offers implications and ideas for future research. For theory, importance of authenticity and respect in relationships. For the practice, recognition that being a college student athlete is difficult and the need for community and mentorship is absolutely crucial. The policy, the hiring process and accountability of people in these roles to be genuine, caring and leading carry weights as much as being knowledgeable in your respective sport. The study also had its limitations as the number of participants and the diversity and the limitedness of that, including the participants. For research might address limitations or advanced knowledge. A future study using qualitative methods might examine how this would look from different perspectives or including that of administrators, coaches, and staff members in that scope. With no need for a flux capacitor, a future study using quantitative methods might examine specific sports, different geographies, or different levels of sport. A future practicum might examine how it looks to be submerged into an athletic department with having a direct experience of what the study focused on. In conclusion, the backgrounds and relationships college student athletes have with their mentors truly matter in their collegiate athletic experience. I just want to thank you for following along with my study from this program. It's been an absolute thrill to get to share this with you. And I hope you learned something from this research I had the opportunity to do this past year. If you feel like my buddy here on the bottom right hand of your screen, go ahead, throw us a like, and I'd also love some feedback. So go ahead and comment in the box below. Thank you again.